Now it's called the cosmic dawn when stars formed for the first time and astronomers now say that moment happened between 250 and 350 million years after the Big Bang. Scientists describe that discovery as the holy grail of astronomy. Our science correspondent Palab Ghosh reports. The night sky is littered with stars, but when did they first begin to shine? Discovering when this critical moment, known as the cosmic dawn, began has been this man's life's work, and now he has the answer. The holy grail has been to look back far enough that you would see the very first generation of stars and galaxies. And we've determined their ages, and that gives us the first convincing evidence of when the universe was first bathed in starlight. Because we are ourselves the product of stellar evolution. In some sense, we're looking at our own origins. Using telescopes from across the world, the team analysed some of the most far away galaxies. So distant, they're just a few pixels on the computer screen. They're also among the earliest, seen not long after the creation of the universe. By working out their age, the team calculated the start of the cosmic dawn, when the first stars began to shine. So what is the cosmic dawn and why is it so important? The universe was created 13.8 billion years ago in the Big Bang. After a brief flash, it entered a period known as the Dark Ages. Then, according to the new study, 250 to 350 million years after the moment of creation, the first stars began to form, bringing light to the universe. And here's what happened. The purple areas are clouds of hydrogen gas, becoming ever denser until they form stars, blazing like fireworks. This simulation is based on astronomical data, but the new results indicate that the first galaxies will be bright enough to be seen by NASA's James Webb Space Telescope to be launched later this year. I am so excited. <laughs> Why are you so excited? Isn't that just fantastic that as humanity, there are tiny little civilization on planet Earth that we can create a telescope that we can send up into space and peer back to the universe as it was just a, a couple of hundred million years after the Big Bang. This simulation shows just how different the very first stars were to what we see today. But these objects led to the formation of the universe as it is now, including everything and everyone on Earth. We are ultimately made from the stars that were born at the dawn of the cosmos. Palab Ghosh, BBC News.